Hello YouTube, George here. How are we doing? Uh, we have on the bench here, we have Steve Watts, um, Cobra 148 GTL DX Mark II. And he has this thing since our Lord was in small trousers, he tells me. So he sent me a little letter with it. Let's see what he says. I'm literally only after taking it out of the box. And I see that the volume squelch pot is bent. I don't know, was it like that? Or did it happen on the way here? He says, uh, I've had very good DX with this rig back in the 80s and 90s all over the world. Got so many good reports back as to its performance of this radio. Okay. He says, uh, bad modulation after turning up the mic gain and when using his amp. Now, I did tell him in his email... <coughs> that the problem could be with the amp uh, because the power readings go down rather than up when he's trying to use it so it's a very old Bremi BRL and uh, BRL 200 I had one of those and um, they're known for the transformer to go out uh, so anyhow he said that um, he's told as well that it's off frequency yada 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 so we've popped it open, very very clean radio, it's a Mark II, um, I just have her warming up here and I have the uh, probe on for the counter, just to see where it's at, uh, very very tidy radio inside, it has been modified, it has a couple of switches on the back, I'd say one is probably for the beep, X plug, CW plug, alright just so you can see where it's at, and it's got a like a band switch on the back when it did it does so it goes down to some stupid low 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 band um, and the other switch is for the beep so uh, we have it on channel 19 here and we're on AM and it's kind of steady enough there now so we should be seeing 16490 there uh, so it's a bit out. We go to USB. We should be seeing uh, 4875 there. It's a mile off. And then, yeah, it's completely all over the place. So it should be 4875 here. That's lower sideband. And then it should be 4925 here. So she's a good bit out. That's upper sideband. Should be 4925. Lower side band should be 4875. So, yeah, it's uh, a little bit out, but that's not a big deal. We can fix that. And uh, we'll go through all the controls. I'll have to take off the. What's the squelch pot? Okay, my ah, squelch pot's busted, is it? Yeah, it's doing the roundy roundy. So I'll have to take that off, fix it. And um, we'll give everything a clean, redo the orange on the knobs. This is just like a service and a clean up more than anything. I'll probably denotch the clarifier because um, the notch is just a pain in the arse, really. And um, you know, because tuning when radios are tuned, when they go back to where they need to be, look at that, even the channel 9 switch works. Um, when they go back to where they live, um, you know, it's all temperature dependent. So if, you know, if the notch is there, that can cause problems. So that's why I like to take them out. So we'll denotch it and we'll tune it. Um, I'm just going to leave it on soak here for another while. Uh, another, f I'll probably leave it for another couple of hours before I tune it. And, uh. We'll see where we go from there, so in the meantime, we'll probably whip the front off and um, have a look at this uh, volume squelch pot, see what we can do with that, and uh, we'll pull out the clarifier and denotch it, and we'll throw the old knobs into the cleaning tank. Okay. Okay, so um, I just decided before... I whipped the front off of the knobs off there already and um, we just have it on the dummy load here and see what it's doing so we're on AM there and she's turned up quite high one two 
One, two, one, two, one, two. Sort that out. So we got that side band. One, two, three. Five watts. That looks like an ALC issue to me. Yeah, she's struggling there, and that's power mic I have on it. So, um, let's try lower side band. Five watts as well. Okay, so, um, yeah. We'll uh, go in here and do what we need to do. We're going to get the front off it here first. Very, very tidy front. Just the one little spot of wear here, which is quite common. And, uh, yeah, she's going to clean up nice. Okay, so we're on AM, and uh, we have her tuned up there. So, 490, 4925, 4875 on lower. Go back to AM, Just swap the counter probe over. Let's see where we are. 27185. Perfect. Well, just for shits and giggles. It doesn't get much better than that. Okay, so uh, we'll get the front off now and uh, see what the story is. They had uh, asked me if I was familiar with uh, Triple Two out of Western Massachusetts and. Um, and being in Western Massachusetts myself, and my first personal is Tony, um, my friend had said he had talked to a triple two, and his first personal was Tony, so I thought that would be you. CQDX, CQDX 765. We're just on the tank whip there. So. We bang on and receive. No, I didn't have to touch the clarifier or anything. Okay, so let's get it apart and get it cleaned. So, she's uh, all asunder now. And, uh, there's the ding dong man. Yeah, so the panel. Yeah, the control is, is, you can see it. I don't know if you can, I have to get a bit of light in the subject there. You can see in there, it's all bent and busted, so that'll have to come out and be fixed. And we'll denotch the clarifier. And it has this, we'll just shorten a couple of pins of the, of the PLL. To give you the uh, low, 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 an absolutely pointless modification. But we'll leave it there. It's not doing any harm. Um, I'll have to ask him, does he want an LED in this? Well, it's a part rather than a bulb. But that's completely up to him. It's his radio. So... I tell you, she's a tidy, a tidy box, I have to say. Very tidy. Okay, so it's the next day, and um, she's all back together, and she is all cleaned, and uh, fully gone through. Fingerprints on the chrome, I hate that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, right, so she is all back together. We're on AM going into the dummy load. Hang on, I just turned that down a bit. Okay, so you can see there we have a 5 watt carrier. One, two. One, two, one, two. I'll turn up the mic in a bit, sorry. One, two, three, four, check, check, one, two. 
So now we will go to upper side band. Now. One, two, one, two. Okay, so I'm just figuring out me volumes and stuff here now. One, two, one, two, three, four. Check, check, one, two. One, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two. Testing, 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 testing. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is George. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two. Just normal speech into it there. I'm not shouting into the microphone or anything. And, uh, she is pegging it at 15 watts there, no problem at all. So, it has the beep. There's two switches on the back. Um, as you put your hand back here, the one on the left, that turns off the Roger beep. So now, no beep. Turn it back on. And this other one beside it brings you down somewhere in 26 megs. Uh, pointless radio is deaf down there it's uh, optimized for low mid and high the way it's supposed to be I uh, don't believe in that mod or the diode mods for the extra three bands anyway we won't go down that road uh, so I'll have a look at the lower side band okay so I got that wrong uh, the switch is on the back the one on the right does the roger beep and the other one brings you off somewhere so we go to lower side band one two one two one two one two three four five one two one two check one two three four five so she's working fine so we'll put it on the uh antenna now and see what we can hear uh, mind you it's been quiet enough this morning okay so as I thought it's quiet enough but uh, we have her hooked up and um, we can see the scope here one two check one two audio one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five she's nice and clean modulate and perfect no problem at all exactly what you want so happy days one two three four five and you can see the power meter here uh, it's set on peak at the minute so i'll just change that now now we're on average one two three four <whistles> so she's working well and uh, came out nice and clean so I think that will be the old uh, thumbnail right there and uh, she's done ready to go Steve so happy days just be careful with this squelch control because it was broken you know don't be too violent with it it does work and just be careful with it you can see there it doesn't um, sit back down exactly to the stop where it should go but uh, i don't actually have one of those controls they're hard enough to get so just be careful with it and uh, other than that she's ready to rock she's running going on and down on 38 Early yet. I'll probably run it on a live stream later on when uh, the skip picks up. So 
there you go that's it for now she's ready to rock hope you enjoy it steve look after it she's a very clean radio and uh, don't sell it because you'll kick yourself happy days okay 73 and we'll get you in the next one bye bye